All right, hey guys, what's up? Uh, I uh, wanted to make this video really quickly because I feel like if I don't make this right now, then it's never gonna get done. So, um, yeah, as you can tell, I'm in like my work clothes. I just got out of work. Uh, yes, I'm back working at a restaurant right now, so that's kind of what's been going on. So yeah, I just wanted to uh, talk to you guys about a few things moving forward with my life and my career. I don't know where to start, but uh, about three years ago, May, April, May 2018, I started this YouTube channel. Are we rolling? <laughs> and uh, I was very excited to start it. I started it with my best friend, Alessandro, and we decided to make weekly content, uh, comedy videos, and I thought it was a chance to put myself out there, not only as a filmmaker, but a comedian, a writer, um, and a YouTuber. And part of our intention was to have this YouTube channel become, you know, a pipe dream where <laughs> you get a million subscribers and you, you know, become your own boss, essentially. That was like an idea in the back of our head. Obviously, as time went on, reality kind of hit our heads, and YouTube was not ideal anymore for going anywhere, I guess. I don't know if I'm making, like, any sense, but, like, YouTube, honestly, has not been going anywhere for me. I've been doing it for three years now, and I'm only at, like, less than 130 subscribers. And yes, there's some videos that caught on the algorithm, but there's other stuff that just doesn't, isn't really going anywhere. As a lot of you know, I went to School of the Art Institute of Chicago. I graduated in December of 2018. I have, I am now two years out of college and I understand that a pandemic happened, but I'm not happy with myself and my career. Even though I started this YouTube channel as something that could be potentially growing a career, you're taking a lot of chance with it and you begin to realize that it's a lot harder to become somebody, get like a million subscribers off of like something that you just put so much effort into. And I've been doing this like every single week for like three years now, it's just not going anywhere. But also, I was steering away from something that matters more, and that's my career is a filmmaker and a videographer and an editor. Um, I do enjoy making comedy, I do enjoy doing YouTube videos, but it's not, it's not being taken seriously. There's a difference between editing YouTube videos and editing like passion projects. And I can't remember the last time I've done a passion project. If anything, the last time I've done a passion project was probably right when I finished college for my thesis. And I'm not happy. You know, um, fuck, I don't want to cry on camera and shit. Um, you know, it's like, I majored in film and it became a hobby, you know? And like, fuck, I really don't want to fucking cry. Um, and it was like, where, what, you know, what happened to that person that was so passionate about it in college and who thought like they get somewhere in life. So I finished college in December 2018. Even right before I finished college, I was looking for, a, you know, a big girl job. Something in videography or editing or whatever. I was looking every single day for a year straight, all of 2019. I was getting nowhere. So, and I was broke. Yes, I have a roof over my head. I'm living with my parents, but I was broke. I spent all my money on my thesis and I only had, what, like $200 in my bank account. So I was lucky enough that 
one of my best friends from college, two months after I graduated college, got me a job um, freelance editing for the company she worked at. And um, it was freelancing, so it wasn't full time. It was something I couldn't live off of. So, um, what was it? Halfway through 2019, I got a job at a restaurant and I became a host. So, by the time beginning of January 2020 came around, I finally got an interview for a job as a videographer at this one company and I got the job. You know, it was my first big girl job out of college. It took me a year straight to get that job and I didn't start till beginning of March and two weeks later the pandemic happened and I lost my job. It took me a year to get that job applying every single day 200 applications with no money so well just a little bit sorry with just like not that much to my name and I was so thankful for that but you know pandemic happened I never they couldn't afford to hire me back so I was working on jobs when I was 17 I was hired with a small videography company uh, freelancing and I've been working with them ever since. My boss Nick, um, he's helped me with a couple of films. He let me borrow his equipment and stuff like that. So we were doing freelance stuff during the pandemic, like a month after the lockdown happened, we started filming at a church and we were doing that weekly. So I had a job at least for all the summer. And then um, September came around, I um, became a host at another restaurant. A month and a half later, the governor of Illinois shut down restaurants again. So I was only there for a month and a half, lost my job again. In total, I had like five different jobs in 2020. Um, all of them ended or, you know, had an expiration date because of COVID. So, um, last week, last Saturday, um, I was asked to come back to work at the restaurant, um, that I was hired at in, uh, September. Um, I've been working a couple of shifts a week. In the meantime, this past month, I went to Florida and my parents and I were considering moving down there and we were looking at condos and it just didn't go through. So, um, <laughs> in the meantime, I met a really cool person <laughs> and honestly, I, I was jealous of them, you know, that's why I was like so attracted to them was because I was jealous of them, you know, here they were working their dream job and, you know, it's, I don't know, it just kind of like, Hit me like a sack of bricks at that point was meeting somebody so passionate about their career and being so kind of like envious of it like what they had I just kind of realized how stuck I am in my career given like the circumstances I know we went through like a fucking pandemic like what the fuck so it's just like I got comfortable with being stuck and I'm like, I'm not okay with it. I'm really not okay with it. You know, like what happened to that person, you know? So then, um, since coming back from Florida, I told myself I'd try harder with my passion, my career. And that's what like I just need to do right now, you know, is working on myself, working on my passion, my career, you know. When you come across certain things in life and you realize like what your purpose is in life and like 
my purpose I have like two things that I know is my purpose I've known it since I was like 14 so like 10 years I've known that one I meant to make movies make videos just make art that's like that's my purpose and the second one for that is to share it with somebody so I guess like the whole point I'm trying to make with this video is that I don't want to do YouTube anymore I think I've steered away from my passions and passion projects so far away that like I've become lazy with it I don't I'm just not happy with stuff I'm so thankful for everybody that's collabed with me in these videos for the past three years I'm so thankful for everybody that's subscribed everybody that's watched I think in the bigger picture the like the long run I'm much more happier when I'm putting more effort and more time and more just seriousness into my career and my goals and my work yeah that's pretty much it um god thanks for like staying around this long in this video like holy fucking shit <laughs> um fuck you just watched me cry for like 20 minutes i just like i'm a drama queen just because like i freaking cry doesn't mean i'm like depressed or some shit i'm just like i'm really tired fuck um it's like 11 o'clock right now i just like worked i just got home from work like an hour ago that's just what i just wanted to say and it's good that like i realize this now um you know i like to just thank like a couple of people for helping me for the past week with getting on that track um you know mostly to my boss and my mentor nick for letting me borrow his equipment you know i have like those are lights right behind me a 4k camera because i'm filming two projects back to back uh tuesday i'm filming a jump cover for eric and wednesday i'm reshooting this massage promo for brandon because he's he's starting like a massage business or whatever so i'm like trying to film all these promos and like filming so much stuff like i just want to like film just a lot of passion projects and i'm like piling all that stuff up and like wanting to like work on my portfolio and work on my reel and like by the end of this year i don't know why like the date november is just like ringing in my head that like by the end of this year i want to be like good enough desirable enough to be hired like anywhere that i apply you know and i know i can do it it's just like i haven't been doing it i want to thank you know my friends for giving me a chance to film these promos or these videos that i'm gonna do um to like prove myself that like i'm fucking worth it and also to thank um my friend morgan for um teaching me starting to teach me motion graphics and after effects you know i kind of realized that i uh, not only just want to be a videographer i want to be an ed sorry the camera just stopped i want to be like a videographer an editor going into motion graphics like i know like editing is probably like the hardest thing to do as a filmmaker but like i know i'm good at editing everybody always says i'm really fast at editing i'm really good at it i know timing i just like i know what i'm doing it's just i'm not doing it you know i just wanted to make this video and just say what like needs to be said i kind of like went a wall for like the past two months with a lot of people so yeah that's pretty much it it's just something I need to do. Maybe like a few months from now, I'm just gonna post here again and show you my reel. <laughs> Cause honestly, I look at my reel right now, my portfolio, it sucks. Like it really sucks. Like everything that's on it is from like 2019. Or That's not me, that's not who I am. That's not my A game. I haven't bringing, been bringing on my A game like at all. And that's like what I'm going to be working on for 2021 It's just like, I'm just going to bring it like everything, everything to the plate. Like 
I'm done settling for less, you know? That's it, moving forward, you know? You gotta be thinking positive. <laughs> Again, thank you to everybody that's been watching for the past three years. And I'm sorry for quitting so abruptly, but a few months from now, I'm gonna prove it. Yeah, um, keep rolling, I guess. <laughs> it's so cheesy, fuck, hold on. Yeah, keep laughing, keep loving, keep rolling. Yeah, let's just see how this goes. I'll, uh, I don't know. I'll see you when I see you.